Hey guys, so to start this look off, I'll be using the Sleek Makeup Palette, and this is a UK like based, you know, makeup brand, and I actually really like it. So the palette is called Storm. I don't really think the 578 matters, but it's called Storm, and I'm going to use this light brown shade to use as my transition color. And honestly, it's not going to show up too much, but that's okay because, you know, it's just for the transition. I don't like my transition color to, you know, look at me. Now I'm going to use that pretty, like, it's not exactly sparkly. It's kind of like a satin glitter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, that's, if satin and glitter had a baby, then that's what, you know, what would have you. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, now that I'm done getting stuck on one sentence, I'm going to place this all over my eyelid and I'm not going to go past my crease. Now this may look different on on like your eyelid because everyone has different eyelid shapes, but pretty much just don't go past the crease. So just keep it on your mobile lid. See? Like that. Now I'm going to use that like darker berry color and I'm going to use that kind of as like my crease color. And I'm just going to blend that right in. But I'm not going to go up as high as my transition color. I'm just going to keep this directly in the crease. And I'm just going to keep building up that color. If you want to make this look a bit more intense, you can always use like a white eyeshadow base or any type of eyeshadow base just to make the colors pop and more pigmented. But I just kind of want that light flush of color on my lids because, you know, it's spring and I want to keep things light. And I'm used, I just used that transition brush just to blend everything together with no more product. And now I'm taking that kind of purple berry color that I put in my crease and I'm going to put it on my outer lower lid. And yeah, but yeah, like I was saying, it's just like a light spring, you know, look. It's nothing too intense, but you can always go more intense if you want. Like I said, just use like a white eyeshadow base. Now I'm going to get that sparkly champagne color, and I'm going to pop that on my little, what is it called? Like the inner corner, and I'm also going to drag it down to like the lower crease just a little bit, just to kind of blend it with that uh, darker color I put on the outer lower crease. If you catch my drift, mm -hmm. and just blend that all out, honey. And I'm going to take some more of that dark purple color and just kind of intensify my crease a little bit more. Just a little more. And now it's time for liner. But I'm just kind of going to speed this part up because, I mean, eyeliner is eyeliner. And honestly, when you think about it too much, you mess up, so don't think about it too much. These are the falsies I'll be using. I got them from my local beauty supply and they came in like this five pack and the brand is Kiss. That's what the brand like packaging kind of looks like and those lashes, I don't think I like them. But I'm just showing you, you know, so you get an idea. So I put some glue and I'm going to put the eyelash on and what helps me is when I kind of straighten the lash like that. So that way when I place it, you know, in the middle of my lid, it's straight and it, I don't know, it just works for me. I mean. It may not work for you, but it may work for you, so you never know, but you have to <laughs> come up with ways to make things work for you, okay? So, just give it a try and you know what you think. Straighten in the lash before you put it on. And now I'm going to use the tweezers to just push the lash all the way down, you know, as close to my lash line as possible. I'm going to use this Tarte Inner Rim Liner, and I'm going to line my inner rim, my waterline. And yeah, my eyes, they do kind of tear up when I do this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have sensitive eyes, kind of. But they used to not tear up, but now they do, so I don't know. Now I'm using my favorite mascara. It's the Miss Manga by L'Oreal, I believe. I love, love, love this mascara. And I'm going to apply that to my bottom lashes as well as my top lashes. And after I apply the mascara, I'm going to kind of pinch my falsies and my real lashes together just to kind of marry them so you can like, you can't really tell where, you know, my real ones, you know, end and the fake ones start. 
and now I'm just brushing off whatever um, translucent powder I had underneath my eyes you know how you have to cook it a little bit I was cooking <laughs> and now I'm just gonna highlight my nose and my um, chin but you didn't really see it and my forehead and I'm not putting too much product on my face because it's spring slash summer in Las Vegas and it's hot and it's gonna sweat off so not too much now I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Stick in dark. It's the darkest one they have. And, you know, I'm going to put on my my contour, um, what is it, Battle Wounds, or War Paint. There we go. My contour War Paint. You know how that goes. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that out. I like to blend my nose with my finger because I have more control. And um, I blend the rest of my face with a brush. And I'm going to take a break now because I've been talking a lot and yeah. <laughs> So once everything is all blended out, I'm going to go in with my new love, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Power Powder. I almost had it. And it's in the color Coco C8. It's almost the darkest color, like the second to darkest. And I'm going to use that to set my contour. And I'm also going to use that to, um, yeah, set my contour. <laughs> now I'm going to use some blush. Um, this is the e.l.f. Blush Quad. I really like this. And I'm going to apply that all over my cheekaronis, y'all. And I like to bring it from the front of my cheek to the back. I don't know, I've been loving that lately. Instead of just putting it like right on the apples, I kind of just blend it slightly into my contour towards the back. And then, of course, you have to blend your brush out. Blush, oh my gosh. Of course, you have to blend your blush out. And now I'm going back in with a little more of that cocoa face powder to just kind of you know, intensify my contour underneath my blush. Now I'm going to line my lips for, um, you know, my lipstick and stuff. And this actually is just like a random cheapy lip pencil. I don't even know the brand. It's just like some type of cheapy lip pencil that came in like a cheap little makeup kit that I got as a gift. And it's just pretty much like a brown. And I'm going to go in with this MAC Cream De Nude lipstick. And it's like the cream sheen one. And I'm going to put that all over my lips and I'm going to make it work, okay? Now I'm applying some lip gloss just in the center of my lips to give me that pretty pout, you know, kissable. <laughs> and I'm just going to overline my lash band to kind of conceal it, you know. But you want to kind of take some of the eyeliner off of the brush so it doesn't get everywhere because I hate making a mess. And of course you can't forget the highlight. I know I wasn't going to forget the highlight. <laughs> and this is just the Kardashian highlighter. And I'm just putting this on the highest points of my cheekbones. And I also like to put it on just the tip of my nose. Some girls go up and down their nose, but I just like the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And yeah, so I can look pretty. And now I'm going to set this makeup all day with this all-nighter makeup spray. And yeah, I'm going to spray a little. And by a little, I mean a lot. And this is the look, but now I have to get to my hair. So this is the Afro Madness that I'm working with, okay? So I decided to try a new hairstyle that I've never tried before, and I actually really, really love it. So it's pretty much like you're going to get the front half of your hair. Well, not even the half, just like the, a front third of your hair because you honestly don't want or need too much hair for this. And I'm going to just brush it and pretty much, well, first I'm going to, you know, clip away the pieces so I could work you know better and I'm gonna take some gel and pretty much just brush it 
to get the edges smooth and then I'm going to put it in a ponytail. You know that cute little hairstyle that a lot of naturals wear but I've never seen to jump on the bandwagon. Well today is my day and I don't know why I haven't done this before, okay? So I'm pretty much just going to tie the hair knot and make like a little bun. But of course I'm going to keep brushing it so <laughs> it could be smooth because you definitely want your front to be smooth. And yeah, just I'm just going to shape it and pin it. Now I'll be using some edge control and I'm using the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Edge Control. I forgot to show you the clip but I actually used Eco Styler Gel to um, gel my hair. And I mean you can use Eco Styler Gel to do your edges but I'm honestly trying to get rid of <laughs> some of these products I buy and don't use. And this is actually a pretty good product. Like I do recommend this. And you know, I'm just gonna do my baby hairs. And I'm not like a baby hairs master or anything. I'm just learning just like you are. <laughs> Unless you're a baby hair master, and then you're awesome. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let down the back, and I think we're done. What do you think? I mean, of course, after a little bit of fluffing and shaping, I think it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this eyeshadow look as well as the hair tutorial. I had so much fun. I kind of was having an issue with my eyelash, but you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna push through it, and we're gonna be fabulous, okay? Because everyone has that eyelash day. So forget you eyelashes. I'm still flawless, okay? Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Dump, 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 dump.